catches and almost made an acrobatic one. He's given an excellent effort. If you can get all the short horns to give the effort he's given, hands down, you won't have too much of a contest. But uh, we're a little sluggish right now, possibly. Uh, maybe a little intimidated by Yoakum's size and speed. Uh, if they can get their heads in the game and get back together, we'll have a successful night. It's gonna, uh, if we can hold them here before the half and go into the halftime with an advantage, big plus for Schulenberg. It is fourth down. Shorthorns will kick it away. That's Schrammick. Bulldogs with 10 men at the line. Now they'll back one off. Good snap. Here comes a rush, and they almost blocked it. The punt gets away. It's going to hit and take a good shorthorn roll. The uh, ball will be marked in at about the 31-yard line. That is a great punt from Schrammick. It goes from the 28-22 down to the... That is a 49 or 51-yard punt. 51 yard or 49 yard punt. It was a great effort by Jared Schrammick. Defense back on the field with 651 left. Ball game uh, here in the first half. We're already in the first half of uh, play. The second quarter, 7 0 Schulenberg. Michael Warren is the quarterback. Turn, give it to Douglas. Gets met, wrapped up by Edding, and then finally getting uh, Garrett. Ginnert puts the finishing touches on him. And again, a, a short one. And that's all. Second down coming. Ball game brought to you tonight by Holas Duncan Insurance Agency. Frank's Restaurant, Chuck Brown Ford, Double B Foods Incorporated, Bubba and Karen Deegan, Don Blanzett and Schulenberg Tires, Alfredo and Mildred Valenzuela. Second down and eight. Clock runs it inside of 6.20 to go. In the first half, Shorthorns seven, Bulldogs nothing. I look. Inside handoff, and he is met by Shepard, and he gets away. But then he gets knocked down. That was Tommy Cliff, the wingback, on the inside handoff. And it will bring up a third down. That play could have been a, a loss of two or three. Instead, Cliff gains a yard, brings up third and seven. Again, defense going to be called upon. Make a big play, try to get the football back for the offense. Schulenberg leads seven to nothing. We have 540 left to go. First half of play. High backs. Warren, the man under, will pass. Looking, looking. Has some pressure, steps up, gets a man around him, sack attack for the black attack. And that is going to be the tackle made by Ricky Hernandez. So the sack attack for the big black and tack defense and it brings up a fourth down call. Fourth and eight. Great play. Well, this time they, they contained the middle of the field also not to let him scramble. He thought he had a little bit of daylight. Qu uh, quickly closed by Hernandez. Very nice play. High snap and there's a good punt. Jackson will watch it bounce and now the short runs will get away from it. The ball is going to be touched dead. At the 33-yard line, first down and 10. A lot better effort that time for Michael Williams than his first effort. Ball game brought to you by Diamond S Restaurant, Fox Fire Builders, 10 Frame Bowling, Audubon Travel Shop, Imco, Ken and Sherry Banks Owners, Crumcheck Wagner Insurance Agency, Kelly and Doris Sarden, Schulenberg Livestock Auction Incorporated, Zimmerman's Garage, Vernon and Fawn Zimmerman Owners, Schulenberg Printing and Office Supplies and Sports Specialties, the Prosky Families, and Dan and Jill Tabor. First and ten, Horns at the 33. Fourth possession of the night. They lead seven to nothing. Reigns in Houston are the men in the backfield, along with Sarton. Handed off to Jason Houston. Gets away from one. Stiff arm. We've got a flag down. Houston still on his feet across midfield, but the flag is in the secondary. And we may have a call against the uh, Schulenberg Shorthorns for a holding. It is against the Shorthorns, a, a clip against the Horns, and that's going to take away a great run. Nice run. I, as I always said before, yes, there's the penalty that takes it back, but yokum has got it in the back of their mind. Hey, this guy can run. He's got a 16, 17-yard carry there. Uh, they're still going to be leery of him. The Schulenberg's going to end up losing about three yards on the play after the penalty's knocked off. Not a big loss, but, uh, of course, Yoakum has to take the penalty. There's no doubt about it, but uh, it could be more devastating inside the backfield or so on where it's taken further back. Uh, Schulenberg still is in a good place. They're only, it's going to be second and first and 12, should I say. Uh, still in a good position to do a lot of good things. Four minutes and 35 seconds left in the first half. 
The Shorthorns hold a seven to nothing lead over the hometown Yoakum Bulldogs. Bulldogs celebrating homecoming and would have nothing more than to celebrate with a win over the number one rated team in class 2A. First and 12 for the Horns. Sharton will turn, give it to Houston. Looking for some run room, nothing but blue shirts there. Jason's knocked down at the line of scrimmage for no gain, second and 12. It appeared, though, at first he may have had a little room, but in my mind, Yoakum has got one or two guys that says, okay, your job tonight, number two. You follow him wherever he may go. He goes to the sideline, go there too. That may be their philosophy here because they've always tried to get runners, uh, defensive men around uh, Jason Houston. Well, they're going to try to turn him inside. You don't want Jason to get outside you and you, uh, utilize his speed. Uh, they're doing a fine job so far. Uh, he's only got 32 yards. Uh, expect Jason to bust out. Sarton to pass, looking, throws it up for Jamie Jackson, just a little ahead of him. Had Jackson run through that football, he may have been on his way for six. But it's incomplete and brings up third down now. And 13. Three and a half minutes left. First half clock is stopped on the incomplete pass. It's been a very quick moving first half of play. Shorthorns hold on to a seven to nothing lead. They scored 1046 left in this quarter on Jason Houston's four yard touchdown run. So a third down play, you don't want to give them good field position. The Bulldogs here for their possible final drive of the first half. So if you can't pick up the first down, at least try to get as much as you can. Split backs. And now flags go down. That's too much time. First time we've seen that, I think, this year. Remember in years past, Schillenberg was plagued with that. I mean, all the time you'd see the yellow flag out there for, for, for delay a game. Well, Hoosman always takes a while to utilize the defense and, and maybe change the play. That possibly could have been the, the case here where he uh, looked over defense. Steven was going to change the play, unluckily ran out of time. Uh, you're right, Kevin. Three or four times a game, possibly it's happened in the past. Uh, the first three games, it didn't happen. Uh, that was a very surprising uh, statistic this year. Uh, it's going to happen. When, when, when you're successful, he is the way he reads the plays. It's going to happen. So it's now third and 18 for the Horns. Two splits. Right. All right, that's Reigns in Houston. Sarton rolling to his left, looking to throw. Has all the time in the world. Now he may run. Will throw it. And the ball is caught by... Jackson, who tries to dive for it. Jeff, he came back for the football and may have picked up the first down. We look at Coach Brad Oden across the way. He says, give it to us, guys. We've got the 10 or the 18 needed. It's going to be awfully close. It's going to be awfully close. A first down for the Horns and a huge play. Third and 18. Steven was scrambling. You do what a good receiver does, come back for the football. Well, Kurt made a good play a while ago on a comeback like that. Uh, that's helping your quarterback out. Don't let him sit back there, and he's going he's gonna to have to make the shorter pass, which is easier on the run, instead of trying to fire the long one. Excellent play on both ends by Sarton and Jackson. So it's a first down, Horns. Ball at the 44-yard line, 258 left to go. First half, handed to David Raines. Has across the 45 to the 50 and across midfield to the 49-yard line inside of Bulldog territory. Gain of seven on the play for David. And it's going to bring up a second down and three call. Coming up at the half, we will feature the Schulenberg Shorthorn Band and their halftime presentation this evening. We do have a timeout here. We'll tell you that uh, this cable cast is brought to you by Baumgarten Matula, Bruce and Cindy Bozel, 3D Belt Company, Steve and Cherise Dees, Charles and Gail Bauck, Oak Ridge Smokehouse Restaurant, Tom and Dolores Sanders, Gallup Supermarket, Leo's Stop and Shop, Leo's Sheer Genius, and upstairs at the downstairs. That's Mayor Leo Kopetsky, Davine, and Kenny. The record rack, Barry and Melissa Shepard, Carrie and Laurie Bauer, Jean, Barbara, and Christine Gintert, and Royce and Jeanette Kujay. Two minutes and 34 seconds left on the clock here at the um, in the first half. Schulenberg has it second and three with a seven to nothing lead. <laughs> So the Horns will come to the line with the second down and seven, or second and three, after the gain of seven by David Raines. Two splits out here to the right. Tight end Mark is to the left. Raines, Houston, in the backfield, ball the 49. Sarton with the play action. Good fake. Has time. Has a man. That's Adams. 
It is just out of his reach. Jeff, he had six points written all over that one. Well, Schulberg seems to be slowing down on their patterns a little bit. Uh, if twice we've seen it. If they might have possibly ran through it, there could have been a, a, a beautiful catch. A yard longer, and we'd have had that catch there. Beautiful pass on a run, on a roll to the right. Beautiful pass by Sarton. Uh, things like that are going to turn. They're going to come back to Schulenberg. They're, uh, they're just a little off right now in the first half. Uh, maybe some adjustments at halftime, and we'll see that pass being completed. So here's another third down call. Clock stop, 227 left. First half, Shorthorn 7. Bulldogs, nothing. Split backs. Two receivers here to the right. Tight end mark at the left. Sarton turns, gives it to the money back. Jason Houston needs a block from Urich. Got it, cuts it up, and now flags will go down. Flag goes down right around the blocking area. It's going to be uh, close to the first down, but I believe we're going to have a penalty. It's holding against the Shorthorn, so wipe it away. And it'll be third and long. That came uh, behind the run, Jeff. It's going to a uh, legal block in the back the way it looks like. One of the receivers probably made a crackback block or so on. Uh, it may sound devastating, but no, we're still third and ten. And with our capabilities of passing and so on, we're still not dead in the water by any means. Uh, with Sarton's ability in the backfield back there, um, that gives us another chance to score possibly look the way I look at it, if you want to look at it positively. Uh, it gives you the chance, to, uh, one more play to make the big play. Uh, Yoakum's case again you have to take the penalty it was a first down you don't have a choice but uh, look for Schoenberg to do something unusual here it's third down and 12 for the uh, Schoenberg Shorthorns shotgun look for the uh, Shorthorns first time we've seen it first time we saw it last week we saw the 60 yard run by Houston not this time Sarton wants to throw he's in trouble being pursued throws it up he's hit the ball is going to be caught by Kevin Mark. Oh, what a catch by Mark at the 20-yard line. Big time play for Kevin Mark. My goodness. Just as I said before, Kevin, give you another play. Another big play can happen right behind you. You can't take a rest with Schulenberg's offense on the field. No one's safe. No one's safe. Watch your man. Watch him good. Anything can happen. Be on your horse. 42-yard gain. That is huge for the Shorthorns. And another first down to the tight end, Kevin Mark, who has five catches on the year, two of them for touchdowns, none bigger than that one right there. It takes a third and long situation to a first and 10 at the 20-yard line, minute 48 left. Shorthorns on the drive at the Bulldog 20. Sarton, the quarterback, is going to turn, give it to Jason Houston. He's hitting the backfield and he's going to be dropped for a loss. And now flags come out on the far end of the field. Way out on the far end. We'll see what that's all about. But it's going to be a four-yard loss if the play stands. The officials are talking. It's way away from the, uh, from the play. A legal block in the back or illegal legal use of the hands against the Shorthorns again, Jeff. Schulenberg's emotions may be taking the best of them right here a little bit. They need to concentrate and settle down and let the ball plan do the talking. Uh, away from the play, it's a useless call, a useless penalty. I'm sure Hoosman's going to address that very strong. If it's away from you, play it cool and, and don't make a stupid stupid play. Yoakum's going to take the Again, it's going to give Schulenberg another chance to make a big play. They might decide, I'm surprised they took this penalty, to be honest with you. Schulenberg had lost five yards already. Four to five yards on the call. Another five yards, but you're giving the down over. I'm not, I'm not too sure if I'd have took that penalty. Well, we'll bring up first and 20 now from the 30. Hey, one thing you mentioned, even though it's away from the play, you still have five sets of eyes out there and the five officials, and you're being watched at all angles, so it, it is a, a mistake that you can ill afford to do. First down and 20 for the Horns at the Bulldog 30. Sarton, the man under, will turn, give it to Jason Houston. Everybody pull. Jason cannot get outside. Nary does, and another flag comes in. Houston gets stopped inbounds. Well, we heard how quick the Yoakum defense is, and uh, they have shown that here this evening. They've done an excellent job of stringing the play out, as we talked about earlier. Stringing this play out, make him run to the sidelines. We've got another holding against Schulenberg. You have to get some composure here. We were inside the 20. We need to get some composure and get some type of score here before halftime. So it'll bring up a, a call for Coach Whitmire, whether he wants to take this penalty or decline it. They, I think they just want to push Schulenberg back as far as possible. We have a minute six left on the clock. 
in the first half. Schulenberg on top, seven to nothing holding, and it will be accepted. So mark off the 10 yards. It puts the horns back to the 37 and a half, called the 37 yard line. Now it's 27 yards to go for the first down. First and 27. One thing good, the horns don't waste a lot of time. They get to the line quick. We've got two receivers left, two receivers right. Quarterback in the shotgun, that's Sarton. Houston picks up the block. There's a throw, and the ball is going to be caught, almost caught by Adams. He had his man beat by five yards. Steven Adams could have caught that one and backed into the end zone. It's now second and 28 with 51 seconds left to go. Ball back at the... Boy, did you see this spot? That's up. They <laughs> may have gained a yard on the spot. On the, on the play, you have to give credit, even though the play didn't uh, gain anything well by the referee's spot, we gained a yard. But uh, Jason Houston made an excellent block in the backfield. A linebacker blitz. Jason cut his legs out from under him, did a gymnastic flip on the, the linebacker, did a flip. I'm sure he's going to remember that when he sees Jason standing back there giving the block the next time. And that's Jason's duty right there on that play is to stay in and block. Sarton in the shotgun, looking, has time, steps up, looks out. He gets hit and wrapped and then... Lunges forward for a yard gain. He will be tackled on the play by Billy Zinke. And now timeout, Schulenberg. It'll be third down and 25 to go for the Horns with 38 seconds left to go. On the clock, our score, the Shorthorns seven and the Oakham Bulldogs nothing. So the Shorthorns back onto the field after their timeout. Yoakum Bulldog faithful up on their feet. 38 seconds left, shotgun look for Sarton and the Horns. Sarton wants to throw, being pressured, hit as he throws, airs it up and it's incomplete. Jamie Jackson, the intended receiver. Steven has taken a lot of licks here in this ball game. He's being put on his back almost on, on every pass play. Brings up fourth down. Well, they're showing some an excellent uh, rush by the Yoakum line. Schulenberg's going to probably take a address to that at second half, and maybe he might look for some screens, some across the middle patterns, some center screens, and so on. That, uh, maybe slow that rush down, a little, make them think a little bit before they just give everything they've got to that rush. I'm sure it's going to be a, a lengthy conversation in the locker room at halftime. It should be interesting. Jet, the Shorthorns are going for it. Fourth and 25 with 31 seconds left. Why not? If you feel your defense can hold the offense. Here's the delay. They fake. Sarton wants to throw. Has it. Well, he throws it away, and it's incomplete. They faked the handoff that time to Jason Houston, and then Sarton may have fumbled or stumbled. The defense holds. They throw it. Unless he was trying to bait them. Well, no, I'm not even going to think that. But the pass was uh, way out of the reach of any short. There was only three Bulldogs there around it. They could easily intercept it. But why do that here when you can get the ball back to 35? Smart play by the defensive back. Uh, all that would have done was give him the ball. If, even if he's running it back, you're still looking at time taken off the clock. So uh, it's a double whammy. Smart play by the defensive back. Now the defense has to hold strong here in the final 23 seconds of the half. They give it to Douglas. He has to run him to the 40, then he's knocked down. Yoakum has their timeouts. They will burn one here. With 14 seconds left to go, a gain of seven on the play. And tonight's uh, broadcast on Channel 16 being brought to you by Casper's Department Store. Clothing and shoes for the family. Frank Supply. Frankie Baumgarten Funeral Home, Mark, Brian, and Bill Clazel. Schulenberg Glass, Mike, and Phyllis Uretza. Schaller Engineering, Welburn Petroleum. Hill Bank and Trust Company, serving your local area for 100 years. Watts Lobbit Clinic and Pharmacy, Mr. B. Fireworks. Tom Bogger says, we'll give you more bang for your bucks. Holos Duncan Insurance Agency, Hugo Holos and Schulenberg, Carl Duncan and Weimer. Frank's Restaurant, I-10, Highway 77, 65 years of great food and service. Chuck Brown Ford. W Foods Incorporated, Bubba and Karen Dagan, Don Blanchett and Schulenberg Tires, Alfredo and Mildred Valenzuela. Coming up at the half, we'll feature the Shorthorn Band and their halftime performance, and we'll give you all kinds of information about the Schulenberg ISD with volleyball, 
and uh, volleyball. So stay with us. They'll give it to Douglas. He's got room for the 45. Shake and bake across the 50. Ginnert still runs, uh, finally jumps on his back, runs him down across the 45 with five seconds left. It goes from the uh, 41 yard line across midfield and they'll mark it uh, after a gain of 15 yards and there are five seconds left. Douglas is having a big half, Jeff. He's got 75 yards now on just 12 carries, whereas Jason Houston has 32 yards on nine carries, but the big stat, Houston has the five yard touchdown run. Well, uh, this by far is the best uh, attempt by any back that rushed against Schulenberg this year. Schulenberg's rushing defense has uh, traditionally been pretty strong. They're finding some cracks in there. Uh, he hadn't had a lot of success as of late as he was in the beginning of the game. Maybe they're making some adjustments to, uh, to combat that. But uh, Schulenberg's defense has rose to the occasion before. I totally expect him to do it again tonight. So it's first down. Could be the final play of the first half. The Shorthorns lead 7 to nothing with just five ticks left on the first half clock. We may see Warren just airing this one out here. Drops back to pass, here comes the rust. Steps up, he's gonna be hit and sacked. Big hit by Shepard. Pancake, side of syrup, and some hash browns on that one for 34, Barry Shepard. On the, on the play earlier in the half, when, when Warren ran the ball, he got his bell rung pretty good on a good hit by Shrum. Their passing game going, they can eat up Schulenberg because they still have to watch Douglas, but Warren can get effective. Is that your assessment as well? Well, we talked about that earlier in the game. If they can get that passing game going, that will open up a lot of holes. Uh, he's made a few nice passes, a few behind and so on, but uh, they hadn't had to go to the pass a lot. There's There's been long drives in this, in this half. There's not have been a lot of possessions. Uh, I think two or three by Yoakum and the same by Schulenberg. Uh, not a lot of offensive activity besides hand off the ball and let's push. Uh, the second half, we might look to see some opening up here and, and, and throwing by Yoakum. Yoakum hadn't thrown the ball. Schulenberg has, but that's Schulenberg's tradition. They're going to throw. They're going to run. They're going to throw everything at you. I'm sure they did a lot of looking at the halftime and, and soul searching and, and, and to find out where the weaknesses were in Yoakum's defense and, and, and hopefully they'll be able to exploit them in the second half. Yoakum won the opening toss and deferred and the Shorthorns uh, received. Now the uh, captains meet on the field as the Shorthorns make their way back onto the sidelines. Uh, Michael Warren, Stephen Sarton to, uh, to discuss what's going to happen here, but you know, Schulenberg is going to, uh, in all likelihood, going to have to kick the football. Yoakum is not going to give it up again. There's no reason to do so. They have accepted uh, the call, and they will receive the football and defend the north goal to uh, start. So Schulenberg will have the wind at their back uh, in the fourth quarter, if that's of any importance. Well, the way the flag is showing right now, we're almost having a, a westerly wind the way it looks like, so it really is not going to be benefit a whole lot of anybody. But uh, if Schulenberg can get, uh, uh, you know, hold, hold Yoakum here and, and, and get some points while they've got this wind and so on, uh, hopefully we'll, or excuse me, Schulenberg will have the wind in the fourth quarter. I'm sorry. 
uh, if we can possibly get any kind of points. The wind is, I don't think it's going to be a whole lot of factor. We're not having a real stiff breeze. It's a nice breeze, but uh, I don't think we're going to have any, any factor in the throwing game on, on, on a stiff breeze to throw against. Well, both quarterbacks threw some very tight spirals. Uh, one thing, Steven Sarton has been hit after almost every time that he passes the football. Regulator offensive line doing a, a great job, but uh, they're, they're, me they're meeting up against a very tough, very quick, quick defense. Well, they're sending a lot of players. I believe linebackers and possibly safeties every once in a while, sending a lot of players, putting the pressure on Sarge. He has adjusted well and made some good passes, and uh, he's had to roll out more than I think he wanted to expect to. Uh, hopefully, they're going to take advantage of that, that strong rust and, and maybe with some draw plays or some screens and so on to kind of get Yoakum off balance. We'll see what happens in this half. Shromick will kick it off again from the right hash. Douglas will stand back at the 10 on the other kickoff after the touchdown. Shelik received it and then ran some 20-some-odd yards and put uh, the dogs in good territory. We'll see where Shromick wants to aim this kickoff. As Shromick gets set and the second half is now underway. It'll be a straight kick. It will be to Douglas at the three. Douglas comes to the right side. Douglas is going to be wrapped up. And then he will be knocked down a whole host of shorthorns, including Shromick, Aaron Strick also went on the tackle. 72 is Sam Brown. 51 is Ricky Hernandez. And 61, Mr. Special Teams, Chad Ginner. Great job by the horns that time. If we have a nickname for Ginner, that'll be Headhunter, because he sure is. He goes down and he's taking people with him. Uh, excellent all-around player, Chad is. We have the benefit of not having to run everybody both ways and uh, with the talent we have, luckily. Uh, Chad will be a, a welcome asset to any offense or defense in any team. Suggs is the uh, fullback. Douglas, the... And the ball is fumbled. Ball is loose. Shromick has it. Jeff, that's the big break we're talking about right there. Put it on the turf. Short Orange have it at the 22. A break like that this early in the first half, if Yoakum can get down, you see him hanging their heads a little bit. A big break like that, turn the ball game in a snap. Uh, with the win, the fourth quarter, Yoakum might have to throw against it if they get down 14, counting our chickens a little early here. But a uh, big plus in the, in, in the Schulenberg side right now. That homecoming pep is uh, taken away just a little bit by having all the ceremonies way before kickoff. Nothing at the half other than two fine performances by two fine bands. And, yeah, if Schulenberg can tack on seven right here quickly, it could really get the dogs down and in the doghouse. First and ten horns at the 22-yard line. Sarton is the man under. Here comes the defense. Boy, they're all over the place. Flags are down. That's going to be offside. Jason Houston being pursued from behind and will be knocked down. The tackle is made by Matt Bame. But let's check the flag. I think Yoakum jumped, but were they uh, called over by the Schulenberg defense? It's going to be our Schulenberg offensive line. Offsides to call. So you're going to decline, or you'll take this penalty and uh, have a first and five instead of a second and five. Uh, logical call on that uh, right there. Uh, Yoakum's trying to put some pressure on right away, maybe make the big play come back the other way. We uh, need to take advantage of this field position and get something out of this, uh, whether it be a field goal or a, or a touchdown. Uh, Yoakum's going to play aggressive and try to make a big play here and get the momentum swing back in their way. Penetration for the Shorthorns, of course, in a non-conference or non-district game, you really don't worry about who wins a tie. It's a first and five for the Horns. They're knocking on the door after the fumble recovery by Jared Schrammick. First and five, hand it to Wright. Wright goes up across the 15 and then gets knocked down by a gain of three. And it will bring up second down and two for Coach David Hoosman and the Schulenberg Shorthorns. The wind has really picked up. We feel it now in the press box. In the first half, Jeff, it wasn't very windy at all. But uh, now here in the second half, we get the breeze blowing through here. And uh, the weather conditions, you couldn't ask for a better night, though. Great uh, cool air blowing about us. Second and two horns. Ball across the 15. Call it the 14. We need the 12. They'll give it to Wright. He's got the uh, 12 close to the... Going to be, uh, as a look from the indication from the official, he may be short. Going to be awfully close. We needed the 12. He may have gotten, well, they, they spot it back at about the 13. It's to be a third and one call. Uh, less than one as he marks it here. Uh, two down territory, no, no doubt about it. Uh, Schulenberg's not going to settle for field goal, even if they don't make it on this down. Uh, I expect a quick hitter with some uh, solid running inside. Man on man, like we talked about, let the regulators do their job. But, 
a half a yard on, on, on two carries shouldn't be too much of a problem. Not for this offensive line and this offensive explosion in the backfield. Third and a yard for the Horns. At the 13, Sarton is the man under, gives it to Houston. He's got the first down and then lunges forward. They'll mark it at the 11, gain of two for Jason. Not a whole lot of real estate, but the important thing is he got the first down and the drive continues. The ball is marked outside the 10, so we'll have the uh, opportunity to pick up a first down, Jeff, without scoring. Almost a goal-to-goal almost -goal situation, Kevin. You can almost consider that. If he's going to get that for a first down, he's probably going to score whoever touches the ball. Schulenberg up to the line quick. Let's see if they got something up their sleeve. Clock is rolling at 9.40 left third quarter. Schulenberg 7, Yoakum nothing. Yoakum fumbled away the possession on their first carry in the second half. Schulenberg picked it up. Here's to Jason Houston. Looking for the outside. Can't get it. Cuts it back inside. Spins. And now flags will go down again. We have seen a lot of those, and we've come to a custom that it's going to be an illegal push in the back against the Shorthorns. Jeff, those are really starting to hurt Schulenberg. Well, I don't know if, if it actually pushes the back, or the guy's turned around at the last second on the block, possibly. Uh, it looks mighty fishy to me that it continually would be the same same block back, back and forth. The play was almost over. Everybody was down. It's kind of a late flag. Uh, no excuses aside. Schulenbergs need to uh, get their head in the game and cut out these costly penalties. It will remain first down. They need the, it's first and 20 now. They mark off 10, first and 20 for the Horns. The ball just outside the 20 yard line. The ball, um, a clock moving at 9.15 left. Kevin Fishbeck, Jeff Proske, and Greg Ewell on camera as always here on Channel 16. Each and every Tuesday night, seven o'clock is where you'll find Schulenberg Shorthorn football. Sarton and Reigns, or it's uh, Houston and Reigns in the backfield. Sarton, the quarterback, Bazetsny and uh, Jackson. Plenty of time for Steven Sarton. He's got all day. Throws it in, and it's caught and then dropped by Jackson at the 13. Jeff, he had that one with no one around him. Uh, he was looking upfield to turn around and get some more yards. He uh, had about an eight-yard.